Oof. Oh, Roblox, a game originally released in 2006. Roblox has led a long life on the internet, but most, including myself, have never really heard of it until recently. And from what I can understand from my limited knowledge of Roblox is that it appears to be mostly just a way to indoctrinate children into a small court where they eventually spend all of their parents' credit card money on Robux. But we'll get into that later because now it's time for you to join me on my tasteful review of fucking Roblox. The premise. <gasps> now my immediate thought and overall thinking of Roblox in the past, future, present and everything about it was that it was a terrible game that's kind of like a shitty Minecraft. And considering what happened last time I played Minecraft, you can understand why I'd be a bit bitter about that. Ah, oh, what a beautiful new world. Just gotta go ahead and get myself some wood to get started and um, why, why isn't the wood breaking? I'm, uh, I mean, I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking, why isn't the wood break? Be an adorable baby or loving parent, adopt or be adopted by a house, explore, play games and more, all in Adopt Me. Right, well there's me on a list, let's go ahead and give it a try. So what you'll find in Roblox is it is a game with many games inside of it. That's right, just like a teratoma tumor, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. Ah, oh, welcome to Adopt Me, to start earning money, find a parent to adopt you because that's how being a fucking baby works. Sure, whilst I'd love to become VIP of Adopt me the parent child simulator game in Roblox I'm gonna fucking pass this time around oh my dreams are all coming to I finally being adopted by someone called Svetogesta oh finally I shall be free from the oppressive sister behind the adoption big cats and I'll be free to live my life as a bald baby in peace in re oh for fuck's sake Zero out of fucking ten. Gameplay. My Roblox experience so far can be summed up pretty easily. I was adopted, I was then unadopted, and now she's just carrying me around and I don't know where the fuck she's taking me. All whilst XXBlocks6789 follows behind us and someone in the chat keeps saying, I want mommy. I hunger. It's points like this in life where you really start to wonder exactly where you've gone wrong in life. Why is this woman carrying me around in a store and debating what hairstyle to put on my Roblox character? Okay, what the fuck? She just dragged me halfway across the fucking town, dressed me up like some sort of spaghetti cosplay, then fucking left me in a church. What is this shit? Oh, fuck yeah, sure, why not? Oh, this is an interesting development. It is at this point in my life that I realized that the futility of the adoption process has really left me scarred, so I decided there's only one real way to get out of the cycle of torment and abuse, and that's unfortunately the very bitter end that is suicide. <gasps> Good thing is though, in Roblox, reincarnation is real and this time around I'm a communist gorilla ready to take down those imperialist Americans trying to take out my country with napalm. And if you thought the Americans did a poor job in real life, well I've got some great news for you. 10 year olds aren't actually any better. Now did I feel bad about absolutely suave dunking on all of these 5 to 10 year old children whilst of course you know it, it, it is possible that I could feel a bit upset that I was ruining their time by absolutely destroying them in a video game. But at the same time if 10 year old children decide to invade Vietnam for scantily clad reasons such as oh communism well it's not my fault that they're gonna get sprayed down with my AK-47. Go home, you American pig dog. No sucky sucky here for you. I just got killed by Doge the fucking dog. Get fucking dunked on, you motherfucker! But don't worry if ruining the dreams of small children wasn't for you. There are plenty more game modes in Roblox to be had. Pizza delivery. High school roleplay. Generic shooting game number 5789. There's tons of them on there. And plenty of others to be had. But I thought I'd check out the old high school roleplay one and... Oh shit, no, she's got swords on her back. I'm in fucking Columbine! Unlike my actual secondary education life, I didn't actually get along that well with the people in the corridors. But apparently this guy is completely obsessed with me and keeps following me. Ah, well... 
Well, yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Right, I need to think of a cool insult. I can't put nipple. What's the closest thing to nipple that'll be allowed? There you go. Punk nipple! You fucking punk nipple! Oh, shit, he's called my bluff. He did not like being called a punk nipple. He is chasing me down the fucking corridor. Leave me alone! Oh, this guy's not leaving me alone. I've been running for like five minutes now. Go, go away, buddy. Come on. All I did was call you a punk nipple for fuck's sake. What exactly? What was so bad about that? We're literally miles away and I'm, I'm doing the fucking Gangnam style. Is your endless rage not sufficed by my cool dance moves? Oh, cool. I see you're on a skateboard. You finally got... No, he's still there. He's still fucking after me. Vicious bullying. Right, that's a fucking enough, all right? You don't trust this fucker. Don't trust him one bit, fellow people of Roblox. He's a goddamn punk Nepal. Yeah, I, I sure fucking showed that guy. Whilst it is slightly debatable why there's a nightclub in high school roleplay, I am totally down to do a bit of dancey dancey. Now, where's the music? Oh, of course, there's the music. You have to pay for it. What the fuck? I go AFK for five minutes and I run into Kevin Spacey in fucking Roblox, apparently. <gasps> Graphics. Oh boy, the game sure does look beautiful. It's something I would say if the Robux people went ahead and sponsored me and changed my opinion because I'm a terrible games journalist. But thankfully, I'm not IGN and I can tell you anything without fear of repercussions. So overall, the game quality and the graphics itself, well, they look shit. I I'm just going to put it bluntly. It they, they look shit. You can't look what I'm looking at and think, damn. Damn, that looks good. Because it doesn't. It doesn't look good, does it? It looks pretty fucking bad. I mean, just look at this. Just look at this fucking... Look at that water texture. Look at that piece of shit water texture as I try to kill myself and fall off the edge of the map. And the tutorial has ended because you have died. It's just like real life. Oh boy, daily login bonus. The splatter case. <laughs> <laughs> My character's face says it all. I mean, when you think of special forces like the SAS, the uh, uh, UPS, the NASA, do you really think of this? But then you really do have to start asking yourself, should I really be judging this game on the merit of its graphical abilities? Should I really be considering the fact it's a free-to-play game and it's trying its best? Should I instead be judging it on other things that the game has very specifically? in tuned into its community and the gameplay itself. It really opens a lot of philosophical conversations and thoughts mostly about if a Roblox is in the wood, should you really be judging its graphical quality and not the sick grenade throw I just did right there, motherfuckers. That's right, double kill! My Little Pony 3D roleplay is magic! Yeah, just like fucking real life. Hey, look, buddy. I'm the cowboy pony in My Little Pony magic roleplay. <laughs> I'm the cowboy pony. I'm the fucking cowboy pony. I'm the f yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh god, it's that blood. <coughs> oh god, it's blood. Intermission. Go away. No, it's me, Chef Play. Go away. Nobody. Oh, this is great. Meow, I'm a cat. Oh, it shit, no, I'm not even a cat. I'm a fucking bunny rabbit. Bark. Boop, 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 move out the way. Oh, no. My bad, buddy. I didn't see you there while I was jumping across the fucking river. For taking a break from the other cancerous game modes, I decided to try the good old drag racing and racing simulator one. And here you can see I'm getting absolutely outmatched with someone who's probably got a bit too many more Robux than I do. And, ah... Uh, well, well, most of these game modes seem to end up with me drowning in some sort of waterbed. Oh, hey there, frat! Oh, no, Paul Walker's blasted off again! <laughs> oh, hey, everybody, it's me! Somewhat interesting introduction, I saw a production, so we're back at it again with another Paradox Grand Strange again! Oh, hey, everybody, I'm now the prison warden of this prison, and due to some unforeseen cutbacks by the Tory party, we're gonna have to make some drastic cuts in the prison population. I'm sorry, but how was killing prisoners not a great way to cool the prison population and save us a buck and a half, you fucking dumb bastard? But don't worry, it's not too hard to break out of prison, apparently. I I've tattooed the whole prison layout on my left toe for no good reason, because all I had to do was lift that gate. 
walk out of the unguarded front area here and then straight under the fucking gate to freedom, boy. Doesn't that feel great? Closing thoughts. Boy, this game sure was a doozy and a half. I can't not recommend it to everybody to go out right now, pick up yourself a free copy on www.roblox.com forward slash goatsy. I mean, just think about it. What other game offers you a game that actually has a million and one different games inside of it? And all of them are for free! Three millions of games! Sign me up right now! Just don't mind all the pop-ups you get for additional things that you can buy with your parents' credit card at home. The game overall is... Basically, the mini clip of this era, I imagine. I'm sure not everyone will understand that reference, but it is what it is. Cheap. Uh, cheap. It has game modes that are just taken from other games, or in this case, it's just an entire fucking game ripped off into Roblox. I'm sorry, I can't do a serious review of fucking Roblox, alright? I just can't. The game's weird. I, I got solicited by way too many people in the first hour of this game to do unsavory things that I have in the rest of my entire life. I'm fucking done. Fuck, fuck, I'm fucking done. No. No more fucking Roblox. I'm not doing Roblox ever fucking again. Like. Subscribe fucking end it.